the big issue online is that it appears as if rapport is built very quickly online. And that's not necessarily the case. What's more the case is people are disinhibited and share quicker than they would in face-to-face. -face. And that mm -hmm. can be a good thing and that can be a bad thing. Mm -hmm. It can be bad because if the client, as we know, if the client shares too much too quickly, they feel vulnerable, they walk away not really knowing what to do, you don't necessarily know that, so you haven't helped them contain what's been presented, and they may not come back. That happens in face-to-face -face all the time, where we have a session, a client tells a lot of private information that they may not have shared with anybody, and they don't return. It happens even more so face online, so we just need to be aware of that, and that means as therapists, uh, and again, this is my opinion, but as therapists online, we titrate or we help the client process that release more so than we do in face-to-face. -face. So said differently, we drive the train a little more online than we do face-to-face. -face. So when I see somebody coming to me online with a lot, of, particularly with trauma issues, mm -hmm. I'm sort of backing up a little bit and uh, letting them know I do this in face-to-face -to -face too, but I let them know almost instantly, even on my intake, that you know if they share too much too quickly, it may make them feel uncomfortable. Mm 